Hey guys, welcome out to the shop. It's been some time since I've been out here. Um, as you can see, I got some plywood right here. I'm gonna be building a dresser off of uh, the Anna White website. We decided that we like everything about it and it's a very simple design. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one built on this video and it's gonna be very simple. Some plywood, some two by material, one by material and uh, some drawer slides. So. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is rip the three quarter inch plywood. You guys can do this on the table saw if you have supports on the out feed, in feed if you want that way. Or you can just use a circular saw, draw a line and cut it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut and then uh, we'll get it to cut the length. All right guys, so I went ahead and originally cut these all at 16 inches in width and then finished them up on the table saw, ripping them to final dimension of 15 and three quarters. And these are both at 32 and a quarter inches. Sorry, the width of this is 15 and a half. The length is 32 and a quarter. And then the top is also 15 and three quarter inches wide and it is 62 and a half inches in length and this is the top and these are the two sides so now we're going to go ahead and put in the spacer areas for where the um, drawer slides are going to go so we got the two sideboards up on the workbench right now and i went ahead and cut a couple of these one by twos Really like three quarter by one and a half inches um, and I cut six of them so we got three drawers and I made some marks uh, right here inch and a half up from the bottom 11 and three quarters from the bottom and then I believe the next one is 22 inches from the bottom so we'll have one kind of like so one like there and then we'll have our last one right there. So that's what our drawer slides will attach to. And uh, we're gonna use some finishing nails, some glue, and tack these down. That way they stay in place and we can keep on moving on. All right guys, so we're on the uh, day two. The glue has dried on these uh, rails and I got a little bit more time today. So what we need to do is attach the top onto the sides and also the bottom. And we're gonna be attaching these with the pocket hole, the Craig Jig Jr. And what we're gonna be doing is just taking it, making four holes up here, and then four holes on the other side. And then we'll put these onto the top and screw them down. All right, so we've already drilled one hole right here, right? Uh -huh. So now you need to measure from here to this mark and then take it over to the other piece of wood to get your mark over there. So hook that, yep, there you go. So hook that edge. How far is that? Six inches. Yep. You already got that side, bud. You see that mark right there? Yeah. So now you need to mark one over here. Put it up on the wood. Put 
Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead and do it. Alright, now we gotta drill your four pocket holes. Alright. Alright, do you remember where we gotta put it? We gotta line that mark up with this mark. Mm hmm. Okay, you ready? Mm hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and get this drilled. Going this straight. There you go. Ready? Yeah. Alright, pull it. Keep pulling. Alright. Now we'll do the next one. All right, which hole? Good job. Can I try doing it myself again? Yep. There you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. All right, good job. All right, so now that we got in all the pocket holes drilled, we we're gonna actually attach the sides and I've got it over on a set of saw horses and uh, it's fairly simple. Throw some glue down and then I will get these all screwed together and just let them dry overnight. And I may be working on ripping down the face frames. Not sure yet, we'll see what happens. All right, you ready bud? Mm-hmm. Push your hand on top, there you go. There you go. All right, buddy, so now we have a, uh, a glue line right here. And what are we gonna do? And wipe it off. Wipe it off with this wet paper towel. Should I cut it off a bit? Yep, so now we gotta get some wet paper towel. Is that gonna be wet enough? Yes. All right, go ahead and just try to wipe some of that off. We're gonna have to get some more paper towels, but that's a, a thing you guys want to do after time is go ahead and wipe that off. That way it doesn't look like that with it just sitting there. This is gonna to get painted, so we want to make sure that we can uh, have no leftover glue. All right, guys, we're back out in the shop today, and we are making the face frames. As you can see, we've got the pocket hole set up on the end of one of these styles. This is gonna be the side of the vertical part of the face frame. And then we already have a couple of these with pocket holes in them. And these are cut at 30 inches in length. And the taller ones are cut to match the width of the dresser. So this are 30 or 62 and a half inches. And these were all two by fours. I couldn't find any two by twos at the hardware store. So I went ahead and just grabbed some two by fours and then took them onto the table saw, ripped them down to inch and a half by inch and a half and everything should be good. So we are doing up some of the pocket holes real quick and then we'll join all this together, obviously using glue on the ends to connect everything and also with the pocket holes to make an extra strong joint. All right, go ahead. And try it again. Go for it. There you go. Next one. Go straight into it. All right guys, so we're moving on to the face frame, actual framing, we got some glue, we got screws, we've done the pocket holes, and this side has already been done, the top portion, I guess. So we flipped it back upside down, and now we're gonna add some glue right here, right here where these two marks are. We're gonna put some in between those, and then some on this end. And just like we did on the last portion, we are using wet paper towels to make sure we get all the glue cleaned off. That way it makes it a much simpler cleanup job after we are done. 
So we're gonna go ahead and get this screwed up and then we can actually attach it to the frame, which is right here. All right, so right now what we are doing is we're creating the pocket holes on the sides so we can actually attach the face frame. So my little man is doing the first one on what is going to be the top. There you go, swing that around, hook it, line up those lines. Make sure this is against it, squeeze it tight. Oh, you moved it. There you go, now tighten it down. Squeeze. There you go. Oh, I just moved it myself. Oh, screwing it up for you. You had it. Straight, okay. There we go. Okay, so we got the face frame on now. Um, did all the pocket holes and got everything attached for the sides and along the top and then down this side. Um, the bottom we aren't doing anything with yet. That's going to be another thing whenever we get to uh, laying out some of these center posts. This is all we're going to get done for today. We're just been short amount of times in here. And uh, so tomorrow we're going to put together the other face frame and get it put on the back side. And then get those all connected. We have these pieces right here that will be going in the middle as well to match up with the ones that are on the outside. And that's what's going to be holding the uh, drawer runners. So. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking as it should. And uh, I'm happy with it so far. My little man's learning a lot, right? Yeah. And uh, we're having a good time, father-son project. So we went ahead and installed both of the face frames. And now we are going to go ahead and attach these center parts. And these are going to just sit in between them. And we're gonna be pocket holes and pretty much what you're gonna be doing is matching the height of these to trace them back over here. So I recommend working off of, this is gonna be the top, it's upside down right now, but measure from inside to that, and then come back over here, measure from the top or the plywood, and then come up and make your marks and just measure off of this area instead of trying to do it off the bottom that way it's all centered up and then we can always trim the bottom if need be somehow and get that fixed so now we're going to run through these put in pocket holes and get these all attached all right so as you can see that i've gotten all of the center supports in. this is where the drawer slides are going to be going and i made sure that i had all the pocket holes facing the bottom said there's no kind of weird distraction whenever you open a drawer if you do even ever see this so the way i put each one in was i clamped them in place and then drilled them or then i screwed them all together so everything's good and uh, now we're going to actually move on to making the front pieces and also the back 45s to help support the uh the back side well guys with all the center supports in i also went ahead and took the whole entire dresser, flipped it upside down, and actually cleaned up the shop so I could put it on the floor. And you can also see that I put some 45 degree angle braces on the back like the uh, instructions said that we needed to do. And now we are working on the actual front pieces or the like drawer dividers. And we need four pieces cut at 29 inches to go across from side to side. And you can also see I've already marked one right here. These are nine and a half inches up from each other. So when you go to put them together, you pretty much just do not like that. You don't drop it. But you would put this on the base 
and then nine and a half inches you install it and then from there you get nine and a half inches again so we have already cut out those pieces and have those already right here and these need to be very straight so i got the like premium or the quality the higher quality uh pine if that's what you want to call it and so these ones are 100 percent straight and no knots in them and i've already cut these you guys can see i had a little setup with some bench hooks just regular handsaw so now we're going to go ahead and pocket hole all the ends and then we'll get those installed so just like that we got all the the drawer divider boards or divider i guess just dividers in and uh, as you can see here how it's supposed to look is this is supposed to sit flush with the bottom of your uh, connection pieces and on this side i'm for some reason way off probably about a quarter of an inch from where this is supposed to be to where this is so what i'll end up doing is just filling in another piece down here on both of those and then we'll go ahead and just call it that i don't know how that how those got off but they did or i might just try to test fit them and see if the drawer will uh, work because i have like an inch and a half to play here and an inch and a half to play on this one so when i attach the drawer slides to this i may be able to keep this one up a little bit higher and then keep this one a little bit lower on the on the side piece so we'll have to see uh what happens and see how it all works out but uh, we'll make it work all right guys so that is all i have for this part um this is the main ca uh, carcass part everything else is going to be the drawers and then finishing up all of the finish uh we're gonna go ahead and probably paint this so we'll have to get it ready for paint fill in any kind of uh, little cracks um little divots uh any knots that are missing and things like that to get this uh quality finished look and so the on the next part we'll go ahead and discuss how we're going to be building those drawers and actually getting those attached but that's where we're going to leave you guys today is on the finish of the carcass and we'll take one last look at it so you have just your uh, plywood sides with all your dividers and everything like that and then we'll be moving on to actually getting the drawers made uh, the drawer slides in and then we'll do a finish thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next part